So a few months ago, I started working on and posting about this world building project I'd been thinking about for a while, and I realized while making the Conran showcase video that I put up recently within the context of that project that I never gave any context as to how we got here. I've sort of just had it in mind without ever putting it down, and I figured that could get confusing, so this is that. This is the world of Supernature. About 900 years ago, this world was, in all ways except geographical, very similar to our own, so um, the population was around 9 billion, a global pandemic had recently occurred, the climate was getting warmer, uh, and then 872 years ago, at the time of our story taking place, a chemical event of apocalyptic proportion occurred. It doesn't really matter what or why, but as a result of that event, two things happened. One, the human population went way down and the survivors had to relocate, collaborate, and pull their resources together. And two, the toxic substances that were poured into the earth, the water, and the atmosphere caused some animals to mutate and grow a ridiculous amount, and they, the titular supernature, became the biggest threat to the remaining people. For a while after that, things got pretty dystopian, and that's not really interesting, but what matters is that over time, people, using the knowledge from before the poisoning, rebuilt societies, countries, ways of life, and, despite the supernature being very much alive and well, things got stable again. This is where and when we are at in this project, focusing for now on the country of Kangali and the people who live there and their habits. I want to tentatively refer to supernature as a magical realism setting. There's no magic, but there is electricity, bikes, planes, Toilets, all things you definitely wouldn't find in most fantasy settings, but also it's not not fantasy. I mean, there are giant dragonflies that can function as dragons, and even though there are only humans, each people's cultural habits and identity when I get around to them can be mapped almost one to one in a fantasy race. Like, the Urken are basically halflings, the Toime are gnomes, these guys, I haven't picked their name yet, are dwarves, so I don't really know what genre that is. Maybe realistic magic is more accurate. Or is it science fiction, since it's like kinda set in an alternate universe future type thing? I don't know. Anyway, eventually, when I feel like I've built enough of the world, my plan is to write and draw a graphic novel in this setting about a character or characters going on a The Hobbit-like quest that takes them far from home and allows them to see as much of the world as possible. Until then, I'll post about progress as I make it. Um, Oh, also Supernature is a song. These are the lyrics. It's a disco song from the 70s and it's the inspiration or like the jumping off point for this project that comes from that. That's it.